Hey, this is Tony from Lone Wolf Paintball. Today I'm going to do a real quick comparison uh, between the G-Tech from Planet Eclipse and the new Shocker uh, because Kyle Anderson on our YouTube channel wanted to see a quick review or, or a comparison of them. So here we go. First off, I'm going to grab the Shocker RSX. Love this gun. Super, super light. Um, it doesn't have the a macro line. It's all through the grip. Uh, air gas so that's the first thing I'd say about it is how light it is and it doesn't have the uh, line running from your regulator to your ASA second thing that I really like on this gun is the push button push the button in the back underneath the bolt cap and it slides right out well a ton of lube on there but at least there's something um, that's a great feature on this gun super easy to maintain and access literally a simple just push the button bolt slides right out the back um, other than that, it comes with stock with the OLED D board, uh, which is a great feature, super easy to program. And lastly, I like the way the gun holds. It shoots very, very smooth. Uh, it's pretty quiet. Um, not the quietest gun on the market, I would say, but I mean, it does shoot very well. Screw a tank on there real quick for you. Turn it on. I can do a couple shots so you can probably hear through the audio and how quiet this is. Gun holds very well. Uh, I like the way the ASA degasses. Some guns that have the on off ASAs um, aren't as easy to degas. So that was the Shocker RSX. This price points at 800 bucks. Compared to, where are we at? Planet Eclipse G Tech up here. Um, for 550, this is a heck of a gun. First thing you notice compared to the Shocker is you have the macro line from the regulator to the ASA. Um, also, a lot of this gun is composite. It's not all metal like the Shocker. So it does have the same reg as the E-Tech 5, the same grip frame as the E-Tech 5, uh, same exact ASA as the E-Tech 5. But once again, you're not spending 800, you're only spending 550. Bolt access, super simple, um, up and out. You don't have to push a button for it to come out, but either way, you don't have to use any tools on this gun. It is just a simple pull up and pull out. You got full access to the bolt to do maintenance on the gun. I can throw an air tank on here real quick so you can see how loud this one is compared to the shocker since you wanted to see a comparison video. be completely honest noise wise I think they're about the same I mean I'm not a, a decibels expert by any means but from just the ear I mean it's really not really not that loud I would uh, it's a toss-up even because this gun's cheaper performance wise to be honest it's gonna be who's the better player out there so uh, if you can afford it I would say go with the shocker because it's all metal doesn't have a composite parts but by any means, I am not knocking the Planet Eclipse G-Tech. It's a great gun at $550. Um, it's a heck of a deal, and I think the Planet Eclipse really did a great job with the gun. So um, it's a tough decision. My conclusion, if you got the extra money, get the Shocker. If you're tight on money and have a tight paintball budget, you are not going to go wrong with this G-Tech. You will not be uh, dissatisfied by any means, man. Um, thanks for commenting in the video. Uh, for you future guys, give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. And both guns are available on the website? Both guns are unavailable, uh, are available on our website or in store. Feel free to call here and uh, you know talk to us about it if you'd like. Thanks.